You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. wonder why your relationships tend to always go wrong and why it's so difficult to understand them welcome to you'll do anything for him you'll do anything for her with your host dr maureen hosier author maureen hosier explains how individuals can work to become self-aware and find some answers as to how their relationships may be able to work for them so now please welcome the host of you'll do anything for him or her dr maureen hosier Live from the BBM Global Network, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, and Apple iTunes. I'm your host, Dr. Maureen Hosier, and I am very glad to be here with you all. This is uh, the last showing show. Uh, this is my last show, so I'm going to cover a lot of things things here, but I'm hoping to bring and tie everything together that you have been listening to uh, the past 24 weeks. And I'm grateful for your being here, all of you who are and were. Uh, You've made it very exciting for me to know what I know and be able to pass it on to you. So I'm going to start with the one-person relationship perspective. In a one-person relationship perspective, what I have really come to understand is that both partners are giving up themselves to make the relationship work. And... They don't know that they're doing this. Both partners are being in the moment when they first meet in the attraction, are being only one half of themselves in a sense. And they how do, how do I want to say this? They, um, in the attraction and in the honeymoon phase, without their awareness, both partners are giving up themselves. And maybe that's not quite true. Maybe one is doing more than the other. Um, I used to say that someone gives up themselves to make the relationship work. I think both partners are giving up themselves to make the relationship work in the attraction and in the honeymoon phase. Somewhere along the progression of the relationship, one of the partners needs more distance and space. It's a huge need inside of them. And independence. They need their independence. So they need their distance, distance, they need their space to go out into the world and be who they are. And they, it seemingly feels like in this kind of a relationship, they just begin to change. And in this change, they do. They begin to focus on what's important to them. I think both partners before this moment, when the one person begins to change, were focusing and having such exquisite feelings of love 
and this union that they have, emotional union that they have together, that they are lost in loving. And they are enjoying their own feelings of loving and being loved. But it's about those feelings for both partners. And you know that place, that attraction, that that place. Both partners are not focusing on the other as an individual separate from them. So I think there's a huge denial system going on in the in those in that in the attraction and in the honeymoon phase. Because they're both so in love with love. I don't think they're in love with each other. I think they're in love with love. And those feeling hold, feelings hold for a while. And both partners are making the relationship work. And then, as I said, one of the partners needs more distance, space, and independence. And that's when the changes can occur. Or the changes can occur when something changes in the relationship, like... Uh, a new baby, like the loss of a job, like the change of a job, like uh, having to move to a new area, um, health problems, money problems, anything from the outside can begin to change the relationship or impact the relationship. And so at that moment in time, one, let me go back just a second. One of the partners is the partner who wants space and distance is really enjoying those feelings of the union, the emotional union. But they want to begin the, to leave the relationship first. Now, it isn't that they want to leave the relationship. They want to still be in a relationship and they want to be themselves. So those two things are going to clash then for the other partner. I think that's when the partner who has more flexibility inside isn't so interested in things going on in the out, outside world, is way more interested in being close and cuddly and affectionate and united in this union of the us. So the moment comes where one person wants the us, and one person wants the me. And that's when the relationship begins to have issues. And so, in a sense, in the beginning of the relationship, each partner is not being their full self, and they can't. Be their full their full selves because they in this relationship they finally found what they really wanted in their early relationship with their parents or maybe it's the direction that they took emotionally when they were reactive to however parents were handling the relationship with their child you so if parents, for example, are controlling and demanding, then the child that wants to be close and cuddly and happy in the union of the us may not be getting what they need. And the other partner who with different pet with different parents, oh, I find out we will be right back. This is, you'll do anything for her, you'll do anything for him. A new relationship perspective, live from the BBM Global Network, TuneIn Radio, Apple iTunes, and iHeartRadio. See you soon. 
Essential Nutrients LLC is the brainchild of entrepreneur Barbara Burns. Inspired by a desire to help others, Barbara worked with a team of scientists to develop unique nutritional liquid supplements with the goal to improve the quality of your life. Glucosamine, zinc, and calcium are essential to well-being, and this is the focus of Essential Nutrients LLC. Whether you're a professional athlete, weekend warrior, student, business owner, or homemaker, Essential Nutrients offers products for everyone, including the family pet. And they're easy to take, no pills. Health requires commitment, exercise, a good diet, proper supplementation, and action. So take action today and get your supply of essential liquid nutrients by visiting www.essential-liquids.com. Don't put off your health any longer. Take essential products today and start to measure the difference. Unleash the obstacles that bind you with certified professional coach Joanne Charette, a master practitioner in energy leadership. Joanne can help you break through personal and professional barriers and guide you to a higher level of empowerment and fulfillment. Passionate and dedicated, Joanne engages with her clients on a mutual journey. Her dynamic energy will motivate you to move forward as you partner on a venture to greater results. Isn't it time to make a breakthrough and commit to live the life you deserve? Invest in yourself and let Joanne Charette be the catalyst to the realization of your dreams by making them a reality based in quebec canada joanne is also a space coach using social media and skype to work with anyone anywhere around the world contact joanne charette today at 819-360-3266 or email her at actionrealization at live.ca 819-360-3266 now is your time Welcome back to You'll Do Anything for Him, You'll Do Anything for Her, A New Relationship Perspective. Live from the BBM Global Network, TuneIn Radio, Apple iTunes, and iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Dr. Maureen Hozier. And I've been talking about and want to sort of consolidate the terms that I've been using in the last 24 shows. And I'm talking about the one-person relationship where... I am clearly understanding that both partners are giving up themselves in order to make the relationship work in the beginning of the relationship. Both partners focus on their partner's needs and feelings in order to make their partner happy. They want, you can feel it, you remember it, they want to make their partner happy. So both are very accommodating, flexible, understanding, accepting, and caring, and do their best to avoid any conflict for themselves and their partner. Both partners don't even know the extent to which they are not fully present in the relationship. When they don't include their full self in the relationship, So this is where the dilemma starts. Half of each person isn't there. (laughs) Uh, Well, that's not true. Maybe so, but in the in the first part of relationship, the one that gives up themselves to make the uh, partner happy is fully there, wants to be there, will do anything for the relationship. The other is doing the same thing, but somewhere along the line, they're going to want to move away and be themselves. They want the distance and the separateness and the individuality that they have out in the world. They really enjoy being out in the world. And that's when then the partner who is flexible, accommodating, and wants the union, the joyful union of being together and close, hasn't had enough of that, isn't ready for their partner to move emotionally into the world. And that's where the difficulties start. Now, the person who gives up themselves, who is giving up themselves to be all right with their partner moving out into the world doesn't really get that shift or maybe under, or, uh, realize that shift is happening. They're just wanting to love their partner unconditionally. 
They just are wanting to make them happy. So it may take a while before they realize, that person realize, the person that wants to be close and, uh, I've said this before, joined at the hip, realizes that it's not going to happen. And when that happens, that person has a choice. And the choice that they make now becomes a conscious choice. And because they're in pain, they're in emotional pain. They need to make a choice. Do they disturb the relationship at that point? Do they disturb their partner and begin to complain or nag or, you know, shut down or cry or get enraged? which is all of those are possible at their partner? Or do they continue now and they feel it clearly to give up myself in order that the partner is happy? Somewhere along their journey in that position, in their feeling that they're having to give up themselves, is when the in it moment occurs. That the in it moment then happens when that person who is no longer able, that partner, is no longer able to give up themselves. And that means gives up themselves emotionally. Um, they're not able to to do that anymore because they want their partner back into the union that they had, that exquisite union of love that they had at the beginning of the relationship in the attraction and in the, and in the honeymoon phase. That is why relationships change. One person needs more closeness and union. The us, the other person wants more distance and me. They want me. So as I said before, it becomes a a conflict between us and me. So... Now we're talking about the parts that are missing in each of the other partner. And and that's where the partner who still wants the us needs more of the us. And this is about lack of having more of the us in their childhood with their parents. No blame, no judgment. It's just what happened. They just needed more time in that union of the exquisite feelings of love. And the other partner needs to be out in the world, coming and going as they please, as they need to. Now, that's when affairs can happen on one or both sides. That's where the emotional reactions can begin. The emotional reactions of the in it moment. And you know what happens in those moments. The emotional reactions create this thing between two people where they're both arguing about what they want and need and arguing can be either rageful, angry, or silent and shut down. So it's, it's an impossible moment. It truly is an impossible moment for two people who are in their emotional reactions to come away from their emotional reactions and sit down and think about what's going on between them. We'll be right back. This is You'll Do Anything for Him. 
You'll Do Anything for Her, A New Relationship Perspective, live from BBM Global Network, TuneIn Radio, Apple iTunes, and iHeartRadio. See you soon. Jenny Friend is a licensed marriage and family therapist and a certified clinical sexologist, commonly known as a sex therapist, with over 30 years of experience in the field of sexuality. She's been a researcher and teacher and is further trained in human development over the lifespan. She's also a published author and a radio personality. Her specialized training in lifespan developments means she can help individuals, couples, and families through difficult developmental phases. Her primary ways of working are through the tools of cognitive, behavioral, and psychoenergetics theories and techniques. Couples, individual men and women, and families are also welcome. She can meet in her office in Costa Mesa, California, or on the Internet through Skype at Jenny Friend MFT. Call 714-210-9200. You can also send an email from her website at www.centerforclarity.org. That phone number again is 714-210-9200. Are you looking for employment and live in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is the place for you. Are you an employer looking to fill a position or quite a few positions in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is for you. Employers, JobsAnnex.com is your resource for career-minded people. JobsAnnex.com is the convenient place for job seekers and employers to hook up and move forward. Jobs Annex has been serving Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties for over 14 years. Jobs Annex is a former employment search firm. We've evaluated many thousands of resumes and we understand what employers want and what job applicants need to be successful in their interviews. At Jobs Annex, we provide you with the tools to tell your story for free. Our resources at JobsAnnex.com will help each applicant construct an award-winning resume, an eye-catching cover letter, and key interview questions to ask in various types of interviews. Best of all, it's free. JobsAnnex.com. That's J-O-B-S-A-N-N-E-X.com. Welcome back to You'll Do Anything for Him, You'll Do Anything for Her. A New Relationship Perspective, live from BBM Global Network, TuneIn Radio, Apple iTunes, and iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Dr. Maureen Hosier. And we have just gotten into the in-it moment. So we've moved from a one-person, both partners being in a one-person relationship without their realization once the in it moment comes, and that's that horrible feeling time in a relationship when both partners are at odds, they have lost their loving feelings, and they are emotionally reactive, arguing about what they want, what, well, not necessarily so much that, maybe they are, but it's mostly about how the other is to blame for not giving each other what they want and need. So I'm going to give a ne- real, little explanation of that now as well, the in it moment. Most of us go into a relationship wanting to be heard and understood for the first time by someone who loves us. And that's because, as I mentioned earlier, we were really not heard and understood enough when we were children. So we still have that need inside of us. When we are heard and understood and valued, feel valued by the person who loves us, we finally feel loved. But it can't just happen once. It has to happen a lot that we feel we can be ourselves with somebody else. That means that we can have you know, a little later on in childhood, that we have our opinions, we have our needs, we certainly have what we want, and we want to be heard and understood and valued when we are having 
those, we are expressing those needs. We want to feel good inside ourselves that what we want and need and say and we do is valuable and is enjoying and there's enjoyment in someone else's eyes. When we can see ourselves reflected in our mother's and father's eyes to being just who we are, we feel we, we have been building then a foundation for self-esteem and self-confidence inside of ourselves. It's a two-party deal. We need both ourselves and our parents to make this happen, for us to feel good inside of ourselves, that we can take care of ourselves, that we can regulate and monitor our own uh, feelings and emotions, and that we can get out of things that are not working for us. So our unconscious self, or our what we call uh, our inner child, our young emotional self, I call that person inside myself, uh, you know, little Maureen or my little kid. When that part of ourselves finally feels love, feels love, when that part of us is heard and understood. So many people have not had that happen as children. Again, no blame or judgment because our parents didn't have that happen to them or for them as children. So when people walk in my door, no matter they're straight, they're gay, they're gender mixed, no matter, Both individuals are needing desperately to be heard and understood. They are both needing to be loved for who they are, loved and enjoyed and cared about for who they are. Both partners need to feel their own existence in the love given by the other just like they needed to feel their own existence for their parents. So I'm going to change the viewpoint of the conversation here. When I feel heard and understood, I, myself, my own self, feels connected and acknowledged. Only then can I feel that I exist, that I have a place, I have substance, I I have an importance for someone that I am connected to, someone that I love. So I know then that when I am speaking or when I'm in the world and when I am being me, that I am reasonable and acceptable to others too. I don't have to be in my head worrying about anything because I feel confident And I have self-esteem, self-confidence and self-esteem. And my parents have helped me know that about me. I am understood. I exist. I don't have to prove myself. If I am not heard and understood as a child, then I don't know me. And I have to spend my time proving myself to others and to myself or trying to, trying to get to know me. So I continually look for someone who will hear and understand me so that I know I exist. These are people that have had early uh, childhood emotional injuries because their parents have had those injuries too. So it's again there's no there's no blame or judgment here. And I will continue here. We will be right back. This is you'll do anything for him, you'll do anything for her. A new relationship perspective. 
live from the BBM Global Network, TuneIn Radio, Apple iTunes, and iHeartRadio. See you soon. Are you stressed? Is your stress driving you crazy? Do you know there are many ways to relieve this stress? The Spirit Within Massage and Hypnosis Clinic does just that. Reduce your stress plus so much more. Established in 1997, the Spirit Within Massage and Hypnosis Clinic offers an approach to wellness for those individuals who choose to either utilize appropriate complementary methods to enhance their current medical care or to those individuals who are on their personal journey toward improved health and wellness through the use of therapeutic bodywork, Reiki energy healing, or hypnosis. The Spirit Within Massage and Hypnosis Clinic is owned by Dr. Judy Dean, a registered nurse and board-certified massage therapist and medical hypnotherapist in LaPorte, Indiana. Visit www.spiritwithinmassage-hypnosis.com to see all services offered by Dr. Judy. For a free personal consultation, please call Dr. Judy Dean at 219-326-1380. The Spirit Within Massage and Hypnosis Clinic, 219-326-1380. French Rastafarian baker Chef Oug Mat is a fourth-generation baker and has worked in 11 countries across three continents. Born in Mulhouse, France, he began apprenticing in his father's bakery at age 12 and has devoted his life to learning cultures of the world from inside kitchens across the globe. He also teaches traditional French baking by hosting demonstrations and classes, and his passion for baking is reflected in his delicious confections. With a deep respect for discipline and his Rastafarian way of life, Sheikh Uvmat exemplifies commitment to tradition and culture in a global world. Traveling extensively and combining a myriad of flavors into his recipes, Chef Ugmat brings a unique approach to baking. To read more about the French Rastafarian baker, visit www.frenchchefoug.com. That's H-U-G-U-E-S. Bon appétit and bless up. Welcome back to You'll Do Anything for Him, You'll Do Anything for Her, A New Relationship Perspective. Coming to you live from BBM Global Network, TuneIn Radio, Apple iTunes, and iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Dr. Maureen Hosier. And I'm summarizing one-person relationship, why we're in that, how both of us are uh, contributing or participating in that way in the relationship and we have gotten to the in it moment and what we need out of that in it moment and why people are continually looking for relationships new relationships when the old relationship or the past relationship one doesn't work if we have experienced a deprivation in our getting that part, that critical part from our parents of being heard, understood, felt, recognized, acknowledged, enjoyed, valued. We then look for it in relationships. So we are trying to, in relationships, The universe has given us this opportunity to evolve, to grow. Unfortunately, that's what relationships are about. I don't know that they're about happiness. They can be happiness and caring, but they're more about the wounds of our childhood, the injuries of our past. And that means with our parents, it means with bullies, it means with terrible events, molestation. It just, it means there's so much that we are trying to have the person that we're with heal those wounds from our childhood, not realizing that this is how we grow. This is how we can emotionally become more mature. And when we're in the hard parts in our relationship, 
we grow. We can grow emotionally. We can get stronger. We don't have to be so sensitive and personalize things. But it takes being in that situation where we are doing that and still staying in it with a person that we love. But it's like it's the most excruciating experience. Being in love is the most exquisite experience. Being in it is the most excruciating experience. So it almost feels, the relationship almost feels bipolar. In the relationship, when in it, both partners are trying to be heard and understood and known by the person that they love at the same moment in time. And it's impossible. It is totally impossible for an emotionally immature person that's who we are unconsciously a little kid unconsciously a child cannot have a relationship a child only wants to be heard and understood and valued Now, that doesn't mean that the parent has to give themselves up for that, but the kid has to be, feel caring for them and working things out with their parent. So it does work for both of them. But that's not how our parental relationships are working at this point. And that's another story. So when when one partner, when our partner wants what they want, which isn't what I want. I, and, and because I am emotionally young and desperately needing to be heard and understood, and my partner is hurting me with what they want, then I am emotionally reacting. And the emotional reactions, the expectations... The demands, the assumptions that the emotionally immature little kid, your young emotional self, has, will ruin a relationship. Period. So when two people are little kids, immature, emotionally they are going to emotionally react they are going to make demands they are going to have assumptions they're going to have expectations and they're going to be mean and cruel with words they're going to maybe be physical and violent they may shut down not speak for two or three weeks because they're so hurt. When our partner is not on the same page as we are, we're hurt. That is a direct result of not having had our early emotional love needs met. Now we're trying to get them met in our relationship. So the in it moment is a real cue for people as soon as they start into it, that it's time to get some help and begin to make some changes. People don't tend to do that, though. People tend to just keep trying over and over and over and over again something that doesn't work, and that is screaming at each other or shutting down or leaving the relationship and then coming back. This, this place, the in it place, is impossible. This is, you'll do anything for him, you'll do anything for her, a new relationship perspective, 
Coming to you live from BBM Global Network, TuneIn Radio, Apple iTunes, and iHeartRadio. We'll be back soon. Animal lover, author, artist, and public speaker, Patricia Daly Life is a Renaissance woman in her own right. A lover of animals from a young age, Patricia lives on a farm in Virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses, keeping them or finding them safe havens. She is also a published author, and her books document real-life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Life's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daly Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. Hello, I'm Steve Fagan, and I'm president and CEO of Fagan Associates, but I'm also a life coach. I'm here to help you reach your dreams, goals, and objectives. As a life coach, it's my job to be your support, to be your teammate, to help you understand what is your dream, what is your life passion, and then together we work as that team to help you reach your specific goals. Life is worth living the best you can be. Working with a life coach, you're fulfilling those dreams and goals is your passion, and it's your way of living. Let me help you do that today. Let me help you really reach the best that you can be as a person and live the life you should be living. I'm Steve Fagan. I'm a life coach, and I'm here for you. Contact Steve Fagan at FaganAndAssociatesInc.com or call 1-800-239-2701. And I'll be glad to help you move forward to live the life of success. Reach your dreams, your goals, your objectives. We can do it together. Welcome back to You'll Do Anything for Him, You'll Do Anything for Her, a new relationship perspective live, live from the BBM Global Network, TuneIn Radio, Apple iTunes, and iHeartRadio. Okay, so we're in the in it moment, and it's the impossible moment. I'm, I'm hoping that you get this. It is impossible. There is no way to solve anything between two people when both people are emotionally reacting, which means that they are in, upset inside. And they're upset inside about not being heard and understood. Now, I see this happening a lot in our relationships, not only with our, you know, our personal relationships, but our business relationships, with our political relationships. We are not able to have relationships. We are all, many of us, most of us, stuck in the in it moment. We're just emotionally reacting. So that feels a little hopeless. Oh, and with our planet as well. We must have relationship, a relationship with our planet. And um, if we don't, uh, then there are consequences. I mean, it's simple. <laughs> that just really is simple. So... I do think that relationships are evolving. I'm hopeful that they are. So when you find yourself in the in it moment with your partner, do not let it accumulate because when you're emotionally a little kid, this hurt accumulates. This betrayal between you accumulates. This not caring and loving accumulates. And it it accumulates emotionally and then it's really hard to change and it's really hard to get through. And then one of you leaves and both of you are still unhappy. So 
again, I think that we are evolving in our relationships. I, I take a look at the millennials and I think that they are more aware of knowing what they want. Uh, but I'm not sure they know what they want emotionally. And maybe you're, you know, like generations before them will get caught in in the same kind of one person relationship. I don't know. I'm hope I think they're less able to give up themselves to make a relationship work which means that they're going to be in it sooner in their relationships. Now, if their solution is just to, okay, it's done. I'm out of here. I'm going to go find somewhere else, someone else. And I'm really not thinking about it. Um, that's not going to work either about emotional growth and emotional maturity and our being able to regulate and monitor our own emotional places. So I still see a lot of young people in my office. I, I still am having to help them understand why what they themselves are doing in a relationship that is not allowing the relationship to work. And that is, I want what I want. As long as there is that belief then the two-person relationship is not a possibility. In order to have a satisfying relationship, both partners must evolve to being able to consider their own needs and feelings at the very same time, the very same moment that they consider their partner's needs and feelings. This impossible, what we thought was an impossible place, can't be done in real time between us as long as we are emotionally little kids. But this impossible place can be done in our minds. Our partner, the person that we love, the person that we like sometimes and sometimes we don't. That person must exist in our minds so that my needs are as important as their needs. Their needs are, are as important as my needs. In order for that to happen, I have to want to know my partner. I have to want to recognize what hurts them. And I don't want to do that anymore. And I want to value. I want to cherish. And I don't, and I'm not as sensitive to their separateness hurting me. That's just what they need and want in their lives. And I can still feel their connection to me, even though we're together or apart. So, a two-person relationship is more about caring. And that means that the in-it moment is an opportunity. It feels terrible. But it is an opportunity to emotionally grow and grow in our ability to love and care about someone else and on a grand scale about a lot of someone else's that we're in this all together so we can either do it from the standpoint of two of us in a relationship or all of us on this planet 
and we need to take a break. This is You'll Do Anything for Him, You'll Do Anything for Her, A New Relationship Perspective. Live from the BBM Global Network, TuneIn Radio, Apple iTunes, and iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Dr. Maureen Hosier, and we'll be right back. Patricia Fayweather Harlow is passionate about the environment and conserving our natural resources. She's written a five-part book series for all ages called Rock with Rodney and Party with Perky to Preserve Wildlife, which brings awareness through these vibrant characters on preserving and protecting our national parks and historic landmarks. Harlow has launched a campaign to mobilize green supporters, informing a united front against big oil, big coal, and the Keystone XL pipeline, and she addresses the controversial practice of fracking in books four and five. She's determined to bring greater awareness to the dangers of drilling and running crude oil through pipelines that cut through pristine landscapes, and she empowers readers to take action in keeping America beautiful. To learn more about Patricia Fayweather Harlow and to purchase her books, visit www.patricia-fayweather-harlow.com. That's F-A-Y-E-R-W-E-A-T-H-E-R. And play your part in preserving the landscape that we all share and love. Joseph A. Moylan is the owner of Ion Health, which specializes in very unique medical devices. Ion Health offers biomats, alkalife, and frequency machines. Biomats are a far infrared and negative ion emitting FDA approved medical device. With many different sizes available, you can place them on your bed, on a massage table, or on a seat in your car. It is an unobtrusive way to health. Alkalife machines are water ionizers that cleanse and raise the alkalinity of your tap water, making high alkaline water. Frequency machines utilize certain frequencies to kill viruses and bacteria. These devices are safe and effective. Coming from a health-conscious background and studying physiology at the Academy of Natural Health, Joseph A. Moylan has 15 years of experience in the health field and wants to help you live a healthy, long life. Visit www.ionhealthbiomats.weebly.com or call 765-520-2988. Don't let your health go astray. Get in touch today. Welcome back to You'll Do Anything for Him, You'll Do Anything for Her, A New Relationship Perspective. Live from the BBM Global Network, TuneIn Radio, Apple iTunes, and iHeartRadio. You might have heard my hesitation right there, right after the lead-in on You'll Do Anything for Him, You'll Do Anything for Her. I'm hopeful you're understanding better why our relationships are not working. And it is a new relationship perspective. And there's nothing wrong with our relationships. It's just a matter of emotional development. Our being able to be more emotionally mature. And emotionally mature would mean caring, rather than just focusing on the feelings of love. So I'm saying that the impossible place can be done in our minds. Our partner must exist in our minds, in our minds, so that my needs are as important as my partner's needs and feelings. And the goal in our relationship is to make that happen every time. Our goal is to work things out together to ensure that we are both happy with the solution to a relationship issue because we have created a new way of being together that works for us both. This is a two-person relationship, and this is called building a relationship, and this is must, is, must be what happens in the therapeutic situation. And can happen. It's hard on your own. But maybe if you understand what I'm saying, it wouldn't be so hard. Building a relationship in a two-person relationship means we build a third entity between us. We build what works for us both. And the thing that we build is a relationship. So there is a you, a me, and the relationship. The relationship itself exists as an entity, as a being. The relationship is observed and considered always 
as we figure out what I need and want and what you need and want. And what happens there is that what we have in what I need and want or what you need or want are preferences. And we, I and you, are the only ones that can decide if most of my preferences are working or not working. This is huge. And this is when we grow in our relationships, when we understand that that's what relationships are about. The universe doesn't care if we're happy. But the universe does care, I believe, that we are emotionally growing, emotionally becoming wiser, more caring, more understanding, more helpful, more involved with what needs to be done for so many of us to live on this planet. I think it's what the universe has in store for all of us. I think this is how we evolve. So I've really enjoyed being with you all. And this has been a great relationship with you all. And I thank you. This is you'll do anything for him. You'll do anything for her. Not anymore. A new relationship perspective. Live from the BBM Global Network, Tune In Radio, Apple iTunes, and iHeart Radio. Signing off, this is Dr. Maureen Hosher. This has been You'll Do Anything for Him, You'll Do Anything for Her with your host, Dr. Maureen Hosier. Listen each week as Maureen explores a path to understanding your relationships in an effort to make them work best for you. Here on You'll Do Anything for Him or Her with your host, Dr. Maureen Hosier. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.